all the issues that are bothering the market are still unresolved, and the major indices must close higher to reverse the downtrend. In fact, I think the S&P 500 has got to get above 3,400 before you really see buying go big time. So where does the market go from here? And more importantly, how should you be positioned? Yeah, I mean, I agree with Shah. The lockdown's a big issue. You know, you don't want to discount. Uh, we could still see a Kanye election, but I don't think that's going to happen. So what I do think here is, look, the econ economic data came in so good for third quarter, and jobless claims keep coming down. I think what everyone's worried about right now is this rebound going to be somewhat derailed because of those shutdowns. And I think that's what's on investors' minds, even more so than the election what right shut now. What shutdowns? What shutdowns do you see? I, I see zero <laughs> shutdowns except in places that are already shut down. Really? What shut down? You think Florida's well, no. going to shut down? Georgia, Arizona, Arkansas, Texas? What's going to shut down that's not already shut down in America? Well, that's the beauty of it, because the truth be told is the states make those decisions. And we know states have all different views about how those shutdowns should happen. In New York here, you're right. It's already shut down. It's not going to be a problem if there are more shutdowns, because there's nothing to shut down. So I think if you get that out of the way or that fear out of the way, Charles, you've got $2.6 trillion sitting in cash right now. That is going to come funneling back in the market and right. it's going to cause a huge melt up. Ryan, what, what about you? I mean, because I don't remember you really being into these the, the thematic kind of uh, trades and they all seem not to be working right now. No, they're not. And I think your biggest risk here right now is on the upside, because the problem is once you have election clarity, and markets love clarity. We know they love certainty. And we already know, we can guess there's going to be a stimulus package as soon as that election is over. That's going to hit. And we know profits next year, going back to fundamentals, Charles, profits are going to be outstanding. We're talking about double digits on the S&P. Small caps are going to be 10 percent above where they were pre-pandemic. So I think your biggest risk here is just not being in, because that thing melts up. And the market's mounted up a couple times this year. Don't miss it again. Don't be fooled by these strategists telling you to okay. sit in cash right now. It's a big mistake. Is there anything you would do differently depending on the outcome of tomorrow? Michelle? No, the market is completely dispassionate, so it's going to tell you. I think that what you have to do is not overthink. Follow the range break, as I mentioned before. Know that the market is completely dispassionate. Okay. Keep your emotions out. Price rules. Beautifully Brian. said, Michelle. I'm with Michelle on this. All weather portfolios stick to your strategy here. We don't know what's going to happen when the election ends. Make sure you're prepared for higher interest rates, lower interest rates, market going up, going sideways. You've got to be in to win.